you've been praying to God where's my answer I need my answer this is your answer how much more clear do you want it this is your answer if you can hear it the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk in him by saying words my name is Andrew Hemstraud. Thank you for joining us. Father, if this is your first time here, make sure you subscribe. Jesus if this isn't right. your first time here and these messages are blessing you, consider becoming a partner with us. Tonight, I would like to talk about how to write your own ticket with God. And what I'm going to share, it'll work in every situation or on any situation that you may be in or someone else might be in, but we're specifically talking about you you understand and it will work for whosoever will mm -hmm. meaning it'll work for whosoever so it'll work for you mm -hmm. say this will work for me this will work, this for, will me. work for me if you can hear it of course this is the way it is with all the Word of God if you can hear it you can have it and I'm going to help you hear it I know some of you some of you need to hear this some of you must hear it this is your answer Say, this is my answer. This is my answer. You've been praying to God, where's my answer? I need my answer. This is your answer. How much more clear do you want it? This is your answer, if you can hear it. And I want you to have it. Say, have it. Have it. After this message, you might have to listen to it more than once, but you should have it. Which is good, because it will then begin to produce for you, if you do it, in your life, in any situation. So I want to expose you to something about the Holy Ghost what if you're never exposed to things about the Holy Ghost you're not gonna know about them they will be foreign to you let alone will you be walking in them mm -hmm. right so you need to be exposed to the Holy Ghost and things about him in a way that you haven't been if you want to walk with him more fully so welcome I'm here to expose you to the person of the Holy Ghost and how we walk with him is this any good yes so when I talk about writing your own ticket any no, I don't mean like a traffic ticket I mean like writing your own ticket to get into a place if you could you know go to Disney World or whatever and write your own ticket and get in or I want to go to the movie theater they hand out tickets you can write your own ticket that, that's what I mean right sometimes you have to explain these things but when I say write your own ticket with God who am I talking about the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. would it be good to know who the God is that we're talking about if we're gonna write our own ticket with him first mm -hmm. yes, Corinthians chapter 3 verse 16 know you not that you are the temple of God and that the Spirit of God dwells in you question mark why would Paul be writing this to believers if it wasn't something they needed to hear mm -hmm. and be exposed to That's right. you're the temple of God and the Spirit of God or the Spirit God dwells in you mm -hmm. God is a spirit the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today you are the temple of the Holy Ghost that's not too much of a leap I hope first Corinthians chapter 6 verse 19 what know you not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. he said your body is the temple of God mm -hmm. and here he says your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. who is God the Holy Ghost and then it goes on it says which which you have of God and that's not talking about the Holy Ghost that you have of God because he is God the body that you have and you are not your own for you are bought with a price therefore glorify say glorify. glorify glorify God in your body and in your spirit which are God's now if I start to glorify God in my body who is the God that's in my body the Holy Ghost what if I glorify him or magnify him you could say right mm -hmm. or exalt him is my mouth part of my body yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
should we give place to the Holy Ghost and become the temple of God that we're supposed to be yes. I would think so what know you not this how is it that you don't know this he could have said it that way how, how, how don't you know it so you are the temple of the Holy Ghost say I am the temple, I am the temple. of the Holy, Ghost. the Holy Ghost say he is God, he is God. see these are hurdles people need to get over glorify him in your body who did it say to glorify in your body and in your spirit him the Holy Ghost he's with you he's the one in the earth he's the one we walk around with as his temple and we're supposed to glorify and give place to him in the earth yes. well as you come to know the Holy Ghost you start to learn things about him and you start to realize that he as God the Holy Ghost works with words therefore if I'm walking with him I'm gonna be working with words mm -hmm. Say he works with words. He works with words. I, work with words. I work with words. That's his number one way of doing things. Mm -hmm. Always. I wrote this down. This is a quote by Smith Wigglesworth. He was an apostle of faith from the early 1900s. He says, I can't know God apart from his word. And it's the same thing today. You can't know the Holy Ghost apart from from his word he reveals himself through his word he's a word God right. he and his word the things he says the he, he he and the things he says are one yes. so when he says something that's his will when he says something that's him putting his approval on it that's him doing it he does what he says do you suppose the Holy Ghost does what he says yes. he does what he says mm -hmm. but he has to says before he does right. do you understand yes. he does what he says mm -hmm. say he does what he says. he does what he says how do we walk with him by speaking in agreement when we speak in agreement he does mm -hmm. what he says all right mm -hmm. go to second Peter talking about writing your own ticket with God we're talking about the Holy Ghost and how to walk with him if we're writing our own ticket with God we're writing our own ticket with the Holy Ghost he's a God that works with words obviously that ticket is going to have something to do with words are you here yes. second Peter chapter 1 verse 20 knowing this second no knowing this first that no prophecy of the scripture is of, any, is of any private interpretation right we know that God is no respecter of persons if it's written in here you can have it mm -hmm. for the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man but holy men of God spake as they were moved by the Holy Ghost who we know is God so they weren't speaking of their own will they were speaking his will mm -hmm. the prophecy of the scripture the Holy Ghost says it and will do it and he does what he says so when we're talking about walking with him he is the Holy Ghost and he spoke so God is the Holy Ghost and he was the one who spoke the scriptures mm -hmm. you don't like it that way people might want to argue with me that way but here it says the prophecy of the scripture all of them mm -hmm. came through men, holy men of God who were moved by the will of the Holy Ghost That's right. who was speaking forth the scriptures the Holy Ghost this becomes very important when we start to walk with the Holy Ghost in the earth are the promises his word are the promises things he said mm -hmm. he does what he says the promises are things that he has already said into the earth Isaiah 55 verse 10 for as the rain comes down and the snow from heaven and returns not thither but watereth the earth 
and makes it bring forth and bud say makes it makes it, makes it bring forth and bud that it may give seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be well first who's saying this was isaiah a holy man of old mm -hmm. moved by god the holy ghost mm -hmm. not of isaiah's will but he was saying this by the will of the holy ghost are you getting this yes. he said so shall my word be that goes out of my mouth and we already said i wanted to bring that out there that it makes it so his word that went out of his mouth makes something happen mm -hmm. how does he make it happen you say by the word that goes out of his mouth how did god create anything in this earth it was by the word spoken words that came out of his mouth maketh it yes. you were made by it i was made by it everything we have and live in was made by the same thing verse 11 so shall my word be that goes forth out of my mouth it shall not return to me void or without doing what it said but it shall what shall the word, the word he spoke mm -hmm. the spoken word shall accomplish yes. right the spoken word shall accomplish that which i please and it shall prosper in the thing whereunto i sent it what do you suppose the thing is that he sent it to whatever the promise was Amen. so the word shall make it happen the spoken word it shall accomplish mm -hmm. are you getting this yes. say the spoken word, the spoken it, word. Shall it shall accomplish, accomplish that which he sent it to Amen. it won't return void are you seeing this mm -hmm. so we got two things here we can concretely check off our list he the Holy Ghost spoke and two he releases faith in the word itself to bring itself to pass because he says it shall accomplish it didn't say you'd accomplish it did it mm -hmm. no. the spoken word shall accomplish it mm -hmm. well we know I'll jump ahead here a little bit who's the one speaking the Word of God in the earth today we do if we're walking with say with. with if we're walking with the Holy Ghost he's already spoke it then I'm going to be speaking the word and the word spoken shall accomplish mm -hmm. that which he sent it to if the word that was healing the spoken word shall accomplish the healing can you see that he released faith here in every word he released faith that he said it's going to accomplish that which I please and prosper in the thing whereunto I sent it whose faith is in the word his faith is in the word where do you suppose faith comes from the word right whose faith is it yours no it's his faith that comes into you all right and what's gonna make it come to pass the word itself makes it come to pass particularly the spoken word mm -hmm. makes it come to pass say the spoken word, the spoken word. Makes, it makes it come to pass. come to pass it's his word you're just speaking it it becomes your word we'll get into that later but it's his word that you're speaking every word of God has the ability within itself to bring itself to pass we can see that in that verse of scripture that we just read right yes. it makes it it shall accomplish nowhere in there were you the it no. it was specifically talking about the word of god would make it happen the word of god would bring it to pass mm -hmm. the spoken word are you here yes so logical deduction here there must be some kind of power in every word of god to bring itself to pass what if it's a promise of god is that a word of god mm -hmm. yes. does it have the same ability to bring itself to pass yes 
what about in my life what about in your life yes, yes and that's what we're going to be talking about writing our own ticket with God not against God we're writing it with the things he's already said mm -hmm. are you here yes. you don't bring it to pass say I don't bring it to pass we we often oh, I struggle with it bring it to pass no we don't bring it to pass the word spoken itself brings itself to pass and this is such a key and this is something I have to give to you if you can get a hold of it it's not your faith it's the faith of God our job is to get in line with it and to say it because the said word brings itself to pass mm -hmm. are you here yes. you don't bring it to pass it brings itself to pass but they are words mm -hmm. second corinthians chapter 1 verse 20 for all the promises of god are questionable mm -hmm. depending on your situation mm -hmm. and whether i feel like it or not nope all of the promises of God are yes say they're yes, they're yes. who said they're yes he, did. He, did. he already said well first of all he already said the promise and released his faith in it mm -hmm. right and now he's saying yes to it mm -hmm. of course he's saying yes to it he's already said the promise yes. all of the promises of God God who God the Holy Ghost in him yea and in him amen unto the glory of God by us glorify who in your body glorify God the Holy Ghost in your body mm -hmm. so the promise is when he said yes when we say the amen which literally means so be it mm -hmm. he said the promise we say the so be it unto me we glorify magnify God in our bodies yes. could you believe be more clear about how you do it no probably not but I'll try who gets glorified when we get in agreement with the promises that he's already said the promise he said and then said yes to mm -hmm. then we say so be it unto me he gets glorified so is he upset with you when you take a promise and you begin you begin to claim it and declare it no. say it over your, of course not he gets glory out of it Amen. talking about how to write your own ticket with God the Holy Ghost all the promises are yes already mm -hmm. he's already signed the yes on the check for you we have to say amen or so be it unto me mm -hmm. is he holding back on you is he the one putting on the brakes God is not the one holding so there must be something else putting on the brakes right or holding us back 99.9% .9 of the time it's one inch below your nose is the thing holding you back but he's not holding you back all the promises of God are yes, yes. So if they're yes and he's no respecter of persons they're yes for me say they're yes for me they're yes for me if it is written you can have it mm -hmm. say if it is written, if it is written I, can I can have it say if it's written, if it's written I, can have it. I can have it I can have it right are there any promises I know a lot of us we know a lot of the promises can we have it that should be the goal right he's already promised it and said yes mm -hmm. now our job is to walk with him in a way that we can have it possess it walk in it and what's going to be the end result of that glorifying him the one who said it That's right. but we don't make it happen mm -hmm. he makes it happen through this word spoken when I speak the Word of God he makes it happen he does what he says when I say what he says he does what he says mm -hmm. are you hearing this yes so when I'm speaking the Word of God whatever promise it happens to be by Jesus stripes I was healed 
i'm not making it happen the word spoken makes it happen yes. say the word spoken, the word the word spoken. spoken. makes it happen makes it so if it's written you can have it can we are we there yet all the promises of god are yes and amen if it's a promise of god and it's written you can have it mm -hmm. complete healing and health deliverance from whatever mm -hmm. youth renewal promises of god right mm -hmm. prosperity wealth mm -hmm. abundant wealth mm -hmm. promises of god if it's written I can have it but we must do something with this word that can itself bring itself to pass see the word is what brings itself to pass we've already crossed that bridge right yeah. the word brings itself to pass so we have to do something with this word so that it can bring itself to pass because it has the power in itself to bring itself to pass in my life if I say it yes. are you here mm -hmm. yes. you're trying to manipulate God I'm not trying to manipulate God I'm trying to get in agreement with him okay. this pleases him this glorifies him yes. so we must do something with this word that can bring itself to pass that this word mm -hmm. that can bring itself to pass we have to do something with it otherwise it just sits there and does nothing That's right, right? Yes. but if i can learn how to walk with god the holy ghost who his word and himself are one mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. right then his word will bring itself to pass in my life mm -hmm. what could we do what could we do yep. psalm 45 verse 1 my tongue is the pen of a ready writer what is the pen that you're gonna write this ticket out with God okay. your tongue is the pen mm -hmm. that you write this ticket out with God mm -hmm. are you here yes. Psalms 119 verse 11 thy word have I hid in mine heart other translations say written mm -hmm. thy word I have written in my heart how did he write it in his heart or on his heart with the pen yes. this is how we write God's Word on our heart is by speaking them mm -hmm. say I write, I write. God's, word God's Word on my heart, on my heart. By, speaking by speaking it so we're writing our own ticket with God the Holy Ghost not against God the Holy Ghost and we're filling out the stub so to speak that he's already signed and already said yes to now the heart is the production center this is where all of these things take place first when healing comes to you it comes to your inner man first mm -hmm. you get healed there and then it takes place on the outside when you become rich you become rich in your inner man first are you here mm -hmm. and then it takes place on the outside mm -hmm. when your youth is renewed where does that happen I'm waiting for it on the outside well you're gonna wait a long time it takes place first in the inner man in your heart mm -hmm. that's where you write it out where's the Holy Ghost on the inside mark chapter 4 verse 13 and he said unto them know you not this parable how then will you know all parables verse 14 the sower sows the word we're talking about the kingdom of god we're talking about reaping something right mm -hmm. we're talking about writing our own ticket with god but here it says the sower sows the word where do you suppose he's sowing the word into the heart of men mm -hmm. so the word goes into the heart look at uh, verse 26 and he said 
so is the kingdom of god as if a man should cast seed into the ground who cast the seed the man did the man have the choice of what seed he was gonna sow yes. if i choose healing verses to say and sow into my inner man what am i going to reap healing, healing. who chose I chose what if I chose to and, and am I walking with God in healing and health yes I'm walking with the Holy Ghost is he glorified by that yes what if I choose some other promise of God to sow remember the, the sowing the word the sower sows the word here it says so is the kingdom of God as if a man should cast seed into the ground read on here he should sleep and rise night and day say night and day so it seems like it's going to take a while, a while. Mm -hmm. he sleeps and right means he goes about his business he sows the word he goes about his business and the seed springs and grows up mm -hmm. the man sprung and grew up no the seed is what's producing the harvest because the seed which is the word of God has the ability with it. it's why Jesus talked about the seed so much and then he called the word the seed mm -hmm. does a seed have something in itself that will cause itself to bring itself to pass yes, yes that's the word of God mm -hmm. if you sow it where am I gonna sow it in my heart how do I sow it mm -hmm. with my tongue are we getting this yes. well the heart is the production center I think we can see that right James chapter 1 verse 21 wherefore lay apart all filthiness and superfluidity of naughtiness yeah lay that apart and receive with meekness said receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save what is able to save if we engraft the word the word is able to save why is the word able to save because the word has within itself the ability to bring it the healing it the prosperity to pass we're engrafting it into us where are you suppose we gra when grafting it in into our inner man how are we engrafting it in by saying it are you getting this I'm telling you if you say the promise of God enough it will embed and engraft itself into you and bring itself to pass whatever that promise is are you here yes. it can't not work it's a law it's a law of God and it works every time for whosoever receive with meekness the engrafted word you know what engrafted means right engrafted word which is able to save that word save there is the word sozo it means to save heal deliver rescue prosper all of those things yes. the word engrafted into me can heal me say that the word, the word engrafted, engrafted into me, into me can, heal me. can heal me what what did the healing the word, the word. say the word, the word. engrafted, engrafted. Into, me into me can make me, can make wealthy. me wealthy what did it the word, the word. we just had to, he said receive with meekness so we had something to do with the engrafting of the word it was never us that did the prospering it was never us that did the healing it was never us that did the delivering are you are you seeing this where's the power the power is in the word itself to bring itself to pass if we can learn to say it and grafting the word does it not you say not me, not me. kind of takes the pressure off right so it says uh, that able to save your soul it will be able to heal your body it will be able to prosper your bank account mm -hmm. the word mm -hmm. if we learn how to walk with God mm -hmm. in it yes. write our own ticket are you getting this yes. 
salvation he goes you know with the engrafted word is able to save salvation is the word made manifest in your situation mm -hmm. say that salvation, salvation is the word, is the word made, manifest made manifest in my situation, my situation. got a problem got a problem got a problem I need to have the word made manifest in my situation whatever that was mm -hmm. got a sickness so I need a healing manifest mm -hmm. salvation is the word made manifest in my situation let me clarify this a little more salvation is the word said the spoken word made manifest in my situation yes. so if salvation is the word the spoken word made manifest in my situation Romans chapter 10 verse 10 says for with the heart man believes unto righteousness and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation salvation is the word made manifest in my situation with the mouth confession is made unto salvation mm -hmm. what if it hasn't happened yet then you need to continue the confession of the word so that it can produce itself in your situation mm -hmm. I've seen it happen time and time again confession is made unto you can say until sometimes that'll help you out confession is made until the salvation mm -hmm. what are you confessing you're confessing the word you're confessing that particular promise that you've selected mm -hmm. that you've written out on the ticket with your tongue mm -hmm. confession until and here is where you can get methodical about it you can get diligent about it you can be disciplined about it well, what do you mean disciplined about it meaning when you select a verse of scripture that you've decided that you want in your life mm -hmm. you can get methodical about saying that thing take five minutes five minutes pick out that scripture whatever if you need healing in your body by Jesus stripes I was healed himself took my infirmities and bare my sicknesses mm -hmm. five minutes what do you mean five minutes I mean say that for five minutes mm -hmm. that that sounds weird it only sounds weird because you haven't had the effect of that word spoken producing salvation in your situation mm -hmm. I've been sick where I had to go and say it for a couple hours but at the end of that period of time things happened to me and I got out mm -hmm. the salvation was manifest not by me but I was engrafting that and it was in it was manifest by the word spoken into my situation mm -hmm. say the word, the word. Spoken, spoken into my, into my situation, situation who's gonna speak the word into your situation you are all right so we're gonna be methodical about it now if you have a situation and a lot of people do a lot of people tune into these messages online they have a healing or I mean they have a sickness or a problem or a financial situation something that's really onerous and right in their face you know I'm recommending five minutes a day yep but I would say five minutes a day confessing that verse of Scripture being methodical and diligent over it mm -hmm. for five minutes you know what five minutes are right you time it you look at a clock and it, it begins there and then you you keep saying that verse of Scripture over and over and over and over and over until the end of the five minutes then you can get up and do whatever else you were gonna do mm -hmm. but I would say now go back in the afternoon sometime and do the same thing another five minutes and then sometime during the night it's five minutes are you here but if it's a bad situation I can I would say do it more than that certain things that I'm believing for I'm not going to tell you about them but if 
I've been doing them for 15 minutes usually once in the morning and once towards the evening I'll just get up and go in the other room and I will say that verse of Scripture for 15 minutes why are you insane no I want that verse of Scripture to be manifest in my situation I've done it over and over again I'm sharing this with you now I'm speaking his word and he is able to do his word in my situation yes. are you here yes. being methodical and diligent about speaking the word can you see this yes. if I found that this is the way to write my own ticket with God can I use it for my benefit yes. mm -hmm. you better that's where a lot of people would have a problem with it. Well, no, if God wills, and then, then he'll do it with his great sovereignty. You know what? No, he won't. He's already willed it. He's already said it. He, then he sent me to tell you how to do it. Amen. Romans 10, 17 says, So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. What faith do you suppose that is that comes? it's God's faith mm -hmm. faith comes by hearing the Word of God we already said there's a power in the Word of God that brings itself to pass mm -hmm. what is that power here we can see a little indication faith comes by hearing and hearing the hearing and hearing, hearing, and hearing. that's that's a, a continual state of hearing that's really what that means being in a continual state of hearing and hearing and hearing and hearing well what what happens when I'm saying and saying mm -hmm. I'm hearing and hearing That's right. so each time faith comes each time the word is set now you understand that if if faith comes by hearing I mean that no it has to be said it shouldn't have to be said but it has to be said <laughs> right each time that you hear you're hearing the faith that's in the word it comes to the hearer what comes to the hearer? the faith that's in the word the faith that will bring itself to say this the faith, the faith that will bring, that will bring itself, itself to pass, to pass. is in the word when I say it and, it and it comes to me the hearer what came to me the faith that brings itself to pass mm -hmm. the transforming faith the power that will make it say it yes. it, it the word come to pass you getting this mm -hmm. it's a law so faith comes that's not your part your part is to do the saying in the hearing mm -hmm. and the saying in the hearing are these things true that I've been saying so we need to believe in the process and commit to saying unto mm -hmm. believe in the process say believe in the process, in the process. And, commit and commit to saying, to saying. Unto. unto pick a scripture two or three at the most prove this you can prove the Word of God but pick a scripture find something that applies to your specific situation choose that scripture and commit to saying it unto well well what if it takes a, it's gonna take a week what if it takes a month it most likely will take a month what do you care we're well, gonna be doing something else anyway right mm -hmm. I'm telling you you need to prove this you need to get a hold of it and make it work for you it it will work for you it'll work for anyone mm -hmm. but as soon as you've crossed that line welcome to my side when you realize that the power is in the word itself to bring itself to pass and it doesn't care who I am right. it doesn't care look at it does it look like it cares who I am but if I take that verse of scripture and I say it into my situation it goes into my heart I'm gonna talk about that in a second what happens but it comes to pass it brings itself to pass mm -hmm. it's an immutable law of God yes. work it the kingdom of God is like a great storehouse picture a department store right where you are registered 
and you can pick some things out to be yours is there anything available to you in the kingdom of God yes. is there healing yes. is there youth renewal yes. is there prosperity yes. is there a deliverance is there, are there all kinds of things yes so pick some things out to be yours that's mine mm -hmm. say that's mine. that's mine and you're not offending God by doing it you're glorifying him by doing it mm -hmm. I select I'm going through the store I select healing I select youth renewal mm -hmm. I select prosperity mm -hmm. are you here mm -hmm. I'm choosing it and I'm gonna say those things let me make some suggestions and recommendations picture me as somebody to help you out in this store over here we in this aisle we ha we have some prosperity over here in this aisle you're looking for some healing yeah you're looking for some youth renewal oh we don't we we don't believe in that part of the store are any people like that oh yeah they, they won't go down that aisle so let me make some suggestions uh, third John 2 we don't have to turn there it says beloved I pray above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health above all things prosper and be in health select prosperity scriptures mm -hmm. say select, select. Prosperity, prosperity scriptures, scriptures. healing and health select healing scriptures Psalms 103 verse 5 says youth renewal mm -hmm. choose youth renewal mm -hmm. pick these things I wish I could get you to do it select these verses of Scripture and claim this is mine Proverbs chapter 10 22 the blessing of the Lord it makes rich and he adds no sorrow with it what could you do with that in your life manifest mm -hmm. you are not an automaton you choose what to write on that ticket God has given you free will you are the one that opens up your Bible and reads it you can select the verse of Scripture are you getting this this is not upsetting to him all the promises he said yes already doesn't matter which one you choose he will still be glorified when it begins to manifest in your life this pleases him it's his will mm -hmm. you are manifesting him mm -hmm. in your temple mm -hmm. is a healing word a manifestation of him mm -hmm. does that glorify him yes is a prosperity word a manifestation of him mm -hmm. yes glorify God in your body is youth renewal a manifestation of him if he said it his word and himself they're one so when his word is manifest in my life that's a manifestation of him in my life it's glorifying him what no you not you pick a scripture believe in the process commit does it take a commitment yes. you commit to saying it until when you do that when you make the commitment and you begin to do I'm telling you it won't take nearly as long as you think it does when you actually do it you know start five minutes a day three times a day and increase it depends on how bad you want that manifest if you do it you learn things along the way by doing it there's things you can't tell people until they actually start doing it so do it and if you do it you'll start learning some things new revelation about that scripture that you're saying will, will just show up you go I've never seen it that way before mm -hmm. as you do you will sense a change happening on the inside of you concerning that verse of scripture you change on the inside first mm -hmm. it's being grafted into you what is the word sometimes joy will bubble up as you're saying it other times you'll just know something went out and happened something just took place boom just like that you don't know how you know in your mind but you just know as you're doing it say as I'm doing it, as I'm doing it. 
if you don't do it you won't know any of these things but as you're doing it you are changed into it you are changed into I am healed you are changed into my youth is renewed you are changed into a wealthy person mm -hmm. and regardless of the outward circumstance something happens on the inside you see yourself rich that you didn't before you see yourself healed mm -hmm. and you didn't before mm -hmm. you start thinking differently you start acting differently based on what the word is actually doing to you the word imprints that on you on your spirit if it's a prosperity scripture that prosperity scripture will imprint itself on your spirit man mm -hmm. you will begin to see yourself as that word you become that you become the healing verse you become the prosperity verse you getting this mm -hmm. the rich person inwardly becomes rich outwardly mm -hmm. the healed person inwardly becomes a healed person outwardly as a man thinks in his heart so is he that's proverbs 23 7 you become the verse of scripture you are the temple of god you become proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it Amen. that becomes you you become that mm -hmm. you are made manifest as a temple of the Living God mm -hmm. his word his life his life that's in his word you begin to manifest as a temple of the Living God mm -hmm. he and his word are one he begins to manifest in his temple mm -hmm. that's you yes. how's he gonna manifest in his temple through his word mm -hmm. he does what he says he will do mm -hmm. he does what you say he says he will do I identify with that if I'm confessing Proverbs 10 22 the blessing of the Lord makes me rich and adds no sorrow with it is that a verse of scripture yes. I begin to by saying it I begin to identify with that mm -hmm. that's part of who he is I'm identifying with him the Holy Ghost as I'm saying a verse of scripture I identify with that part of the Holy Ghost that he said mm -hmm. does that make sense yes. Yes. you're changed from identifying with poverty to identifying with wealth mm -hmm. you're changed from identifying with sickness I'm a sick person to identifying with being healthy mm -hmm. and your youth renewed mm -hmm. who am I identifying with the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. I'm changed into a Holy Ghost worshiper by identifying with the words he said mm -hmm. as a temple of God shouldn't you be identifying with him yes. who who is God that's in the temple the Holy Ghost we should be identifying with him and as we do that more and more we will be changed into his image from glory to glory even as by the Spirit of the Lord you might have to listen to this message over in fact I encourage you listen to this message over and over at least three times until you get it and you will be able to walk with the Holy Ghost who is the Living God in the earth today way beyond where you ever were able to before and he will begin to manifest himself in your situation and just tear up the things of the world that have been holding you back I thank you Holy Ghost I pray for these people that you are moving upon them and causing them to know you and walk with you as the Living God in the earth I worship you I love you I thank you Holy Ghost in Jesus name Amen, amen. Holy Ghost, oh God.